Usually uh, I uh, just, um, once it's dry, I uh, have very uh, fine sandpaper. Mm -hmm. I just uh, sort of wipe it down uh, very carefully because it's uh, not about creating texture through the sandpaper in this case. It's more about uh, it accepting the oil paint here. Yeah, just so, the, just so the next layer yeah, yeah, exactly. sticks. What I, uh, so you see there's uh, quite a yellowish uh, tone to it. Yep. So what I usually start with and which will give it life immediately is if I, uh, is when I uh, put some uh, red uh, glaze over it. So I'm going to do that with uh, sun thickened linseed oil for glaze. Okay. I could also do it with normal linseed oil, but um, because this hasn't dried for so long, I just want it to accept the uh, oil a little bit better. So, oh, okay. Because that's fats over fats and... Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, for now, it's just uh, the best bet. So I'm taking a little bit of the red here and a little bit of the raw umber. And it's uh, actually not that much oil. No. And you have to be very careful, wipe it almost off here. And you, I always have here uh, the paintings, which I just, uh, I, I look at because why do the work yourself if you can <laughs> just uh, copy, you know? Right. And yeah. uh, so you, you will be looking at those Exactly. To get some sense of the, because I mean, painting is of course always a mixture between getting the model mm -hmm. correctly mm -hmm. and finding the attention and the focus. Exactly. Because it's supposed to be a story. Yeah. Right, so. Well, and in this case, uh, I don't exactly work from model right now, at least. So normally, I would just take the clues from the model, but I always have as reference the the paintings next to me. Right. To because uh, you just uh, see how someone has already done it and it's just a yeah because I mean this is craft yeah exactly yeah. so uh, usually uh, it's best to uh, sort of get the most obvious uh, things here immediately which would be the reds here and you, ch you can just uh, get it right over there because it doesn't fund fundamentally change the value that much uh -huh. Red See? red does a bit because it's uh, the darkest of the colors, really. Uh. Uh, it's interesting when you were talking about glaze. I was thinking about, about going over the over the whole thing. Oh no no yeah, no! no this you're is really uh, going in. This is uh, this is uh, partial glazes because yeah. you don't want. I mean, you you do want the same glaze over most of it. But you can just do that afterwards. Yeah. So you first yeah. do. Uh, you emphasize things exactly. now first. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then you can unify it later with a, uh, another okay. clay on top of it. Okay. So, so the important things you make them really not jump out, but but solid. Yeah. Make clear. Them, make them more lifelike. Yeah. 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 And then you you bring up the rest mm. accordingly or or according to that. Okay. Really then. Yeah, you get this sort of immediate uh, wow effect mm -hmm. uh, from it. My intention here is to make it a little bit uh, like uh, he was crying, make it a little bit dramatic, put some drama into mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's the thing when you. <coughs> When you establish form and that is clearly clearly there, then you can start manipulating with stuff like that because that or choosing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, it's it's just uh, so fantastic that you can uh, have these two uh, steps separated from each other. Mm. Thank you for checking out this video from the School of Apelles. 
To watch the full video and access our premium library, go to kvopolis.com slash subscribe and become a $10 patron. That's kvopolis.com slash subscribe.